All right. So I have made it seven months straight on semen retention and I feel great. I'm extremely proud of myself. I'm extremely humbled by this accomplishment. And also know that I have a lot more work to put in, so I'm chilling. I'm not gonna really be too hyped up about it because I got a lot. I'm learning to see the thing about, you know, changing up your habits, like, you know, you start to realize that your habits are, you know, who you become in your future. You know, as a young G growing up, I ain't really take nothing serious. I was a, a class clown, a jokester, bad grades all over the place. Um, you know, binging on porn, binging on video games, thought the world was against me because uh, I grew up in a dysfunctional home, and a very distant family. You know, I like to just victimize my life and make, you know, make it out to be like, I deserve better in my life because you know it's unfair that i'm going through this or it's unfair i'm going through that but listen man as a man you got to realize don't nobody give a fuck don't nobody give a fuck about that if anybody senses a weakness victims mentality in you as a man of course you'll have the bullies and the, and the soft dudes that just want to exploit soft men so that they look stronger around men that they want to impress, right? Or, you know, a lot of that is going on. A whole lot of that is going on. Today was, a you know, another great day. I ran about three miles. Tough, man. Running is tough. Jogging, excuse me. Jogging is tough. So far, this week, and it's Thursday, week is not even over. I have ran 14.4 miles. That's pretty impressive. One day I did five miles. The rest of the days I did three. Yesterday I took a day off and still managed to get 14.4 miles. The most miles I've ever ran in a week in my life. That's beautiful. So, you know, I'm learning that you got to get out your head and you got to just start moving. You got to move. Man, we're not supposed to be in our head about anything. It's cool to be a little nervous and, you know, not used to getting out of your comfort zone because you can't just expect living in your head for the majority of your life. And then all of a sudden, when you decide not to be in your head, you can just snap. It don't work like that, man. So it's all right. Just be cool and go with the flow. The one, the number one thing, the number one advice I want to give you if you're choosing to get out your head and start taking action, it's just don't be worried about how anybody else perceives what you do. That's not your concern, nor should you be worried about what another man or woman is thinking about you. Because if you're wanting to come out of thinking, then you also understand that being in your head means nothing. Thoughts come and go. You could be thinking one thing about a person, like, oh yeah, this person came to the park, he's slim, he looked like he don't really get no money like that. You know, the ego people that just wanna put themselves over other people in the gym or in a workout setting. And then that guy comes out and he's running all over the place. He's doing a hundred pushups, whatever. And now you come to real, that guy comes to realize like, wow, that thought process I just came up with was just made up. It's made up. A lot of those thoughts don't even have no value unless you give them value. So just work on that, man. And, you know, I'm learning. It's been beautiful. You just be out your head and take action, being outside of your comfort zone. And I'm also getting what I give because now, you know, I met, I met some great guys and, you know, I work out with them in the morning, some OGs that get money for real and they they looking to help me get to where i want to be and they they push me mentally and vocally and we all vocalize with each other and we work together man it's a beautiful thing so when you putting out good and you working you just you come across and you meet good people and, and like-minded people that are doing what you are doing and are striving to accomplish what you want to accomplish and you know I'm, I'm drained, and that's the beautiful thing about working out, man, and pushing yourself 
you know, a little over your limit. Uh, you know, I learned that once you push yourself a little over your limit, when you drink that water, that water tastes different. When you come home and you and you eat that meal, that meal tastes different. The shower feel different. When you lay down and it's time for you to go to sleep at night, that, that bed, it feel different. It feel different. Everything feel different after a great workout. I noticed that, man. When I push myself over, I got a limit, but then I go a little bit over that, like I may be jogging. But if I'm running like a square route, maybe I might do, you know, 80% of the square, like this much, and I jog it. But then when I get to the bottom line, I'm sprinting. Then I'm back jogging. Then I'm sprinting. That's pushing myself a little over my limit because I don't have to sprint. I could still jog the three miles and get the same result. When you go a little bit over your limit, that three miles feels a lot different than what it would have felt like if you just were jogging. You salute yourself more and that's all that matters. It's not about who is saluting you. Because what you'll come to realize and what I've come to realize is that when you salute yourself, when you value yourself, when you feel great about yourself, when you love yourself, you're making all of these sacrifices to become your greatest version, then it translates. And as soon as you meet people, they automatically hold you in high regard. They automatically respect you. Some may not know why, because they don't share the same, they're not, they're not like-minded beings with what you're, what you're doing, right? But who cares if they understand, they still gonna give you that respect that you're giving yourself. I appreciate everybody that's been showing me genuine love, uh, even the haters, man. I've been learning a lot about that, you know, I mean, the internet has been showing me that, you know, it's a lot of cowards in the world. A lot of people that like to get off on the internet by trying to bring somebody else down and, and say spiteful things and, and I don't know. I don't really know what's their point because anybody that, you know, like, listen, man, if you a real man, you understand how the internet works and you're not worried about these cowards because these cowards would never face to face tell you what they tell you on the internet. So you just, you don't be bothered with it. You let them get their little bullshit off. They be snickering and giggling like like childish men, right? But like, yeah, look, <laughs> look what I'm about to write up the Coach Davis said. <laughs> he gonna be tight. <laughs> but I'm gonna get on with the rest of my day. I gotta take a cold shower. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm tired, but I want to get this video done. Cause today is day 210. And I feel amazing. Shout out to everybody that's on the ladder of prosperity doing the best that they can. And that appreciate my content and what I do. More great videos coming soon. And uh, yeah. peace and love, y'all.